Hi, fourth graders. Today in word study, we are still looking at the long and short E patterns and accented syllables. So as you remember, we are looking for E's and the short E has that E sound and it might just be a single E in a syllable. For example, in the word ketchup, catch, that first syllable catch has that E sound. The same for the word enemy, N has that E, E sound from the letter E, okay? It could also be an E and an A together, the short E, A sound. And the, like in the word breakfast has that E, bre, breakfast. Or feather, fe, has that E sound, okay? The short E sound always makes the E. But the long E sound, just like when we talked about the A sound last week, the long vowel sounds say their own name. So the long E sound says E. And you can find that in the spelling pattern EI, like in caffeine. And if you listen to fiend, you hear the E, fiend. And the same for seizure, you hear the C, E, seizure. You can hear the E saying its own name with that EI spelling pattern. Also with the IE, <laughs> So in like in disbelief, you can hear that E, leaf, and in diesel, D, E, you hear the E sound. So you are actually going to sort these words. I'm going to read you these words so that you hear them. And when you do this sort, I want you to say the words to yourself too. And listen and hear, is there a short E or a long E? Is the E saying its name, E, for the long sound or Air for the short sound. Then you're going to find the spelling pattern, right? So the first word here is diesel, disbelief, elbow, level, elephant, hotel, engine, measure, receiver, endeavor, seizure, enemy, weather, and reprieve. So when you say those words or listen to me say them, one of the syllables in each of those words will have more emphasis than the other. That will be the accented syllable. Listen for the E and the accented syllable to help you sort the word into the correct um, box. Now we have a reading passage. It's called A Good Breakfast. And I'm going to read it to you and you can read along with me here. And as I read and as you read, I want you to be looking for words that have a short E or a long E sound and spelling pattern, okay? And as per usual, we're gonna fill out a table afterwards. A good breakfast. How many times have you heard people say, I never eat breakfast, I'm just not hungry in the morning? Or perhaps you've heard, I don't have time to sit down for breakfast. I usually grab either a granola bar or a bagel. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Studies have shown that children who eat a good breakfast do better at school. It shouldn't be a surprise that adults who eat a good breakfast do better at work too. What do you think happens when you skip breakfast? Some people believe they will become thinner by skipping meals, but the opposite is true. Your body expects to be fed on a regular basis. When you don't give it the fuel it needs, when it needs it, it goes into starvation mode. Your body starts to store up fat that it can use for energy in the future. What is a healthful breakfast made up of? Protein and fiber. We get protein from foods like meat, eggs, milk, and nuts. We get fiber from foods like fruit, vegetables, and whole grains. Breakfast foods such as pastries, sugary cereals, and white bread may give you quick energy, but they will leave you feeling tired and hungry after just a couple of hours. White bread and sugary cereals are lacking in whole grains and fiber. Here is an example of a well-rounded breakfast. One or two pieces of whole grain toast with peanut butter and a glass of low-fat low -fat milk. How simple is that? So the next morning that you leave the house in a hurry, Reach for a hard-boiled egg instead of a donut for the, your most important meal of the day. 
Okay, so you've learned something about breakfast and about food, but hopefully you also heard and saw some long E and short E spelling patterns and sounds because we have this table to fill out with words that we found that have the long E sound and words that we found that have a short E sound. And you, I want you to type them in the table and underline the long and short E. If you want to do a quick shortcut for underlining something, you highlight it and you click um, hit Control U on your um, keyboard and that will underline what you've just highlighted. Okay. So for a short E, I just started you off and I found the word breakfast. Because brick has that E sound, that's the short E sound, and it's using the EA spelling. So I highlighted, I clicked and, and dragged over the E and the A to highlight it, and then I just pushed Control U to underline, and it underlined it. So see back through the passage what other words you can find that have long A and short A. See if you can type them in the table for me. I really love to see what you can find and what you can do with the words that we've been studying as part of our word study lessons.